It's gonna be a fine day today, I can see. It's gonna be a fine day today, I can see. Gonna be a fine day today for you and me. It's gonna be a fine day today, just wait and see.
this evening When I heard music echo through the night The same old songs that I heard the night before So I started running so I wouldn't be too late was jumping, singing songs, and dancing through the night. I didn't think that I would ever see your face again, but I was wrong. I can't believe we're dancing in the street. All I ever wanted was to get close to you. Now I'm burning up in your atmosphere. I can't feel my feet. the wet results of my bonsai cloud dip. I'm super happy. Oh my god, look at this. It's so freaking cool. Um, I, I, it was, took me a bit to get some balance in the composition, but I'm super ecstatic by how this worked out. I love the cloud dip into the um, and, and then the, the Dutch pour blowout kind of um, uh, texture that this created here. Isn't that gorgeous? So cool. Look at the details in there. I love that. And I love the white. It almost looks like, you know, it's, it's um, covered in snow. Off camera, I apologize. I thought I had turned it back on again, but I did not. I widened the base of the tree. I felt like it was, um, the base was not heavy enough to support the structure above. So I added some more there, added some texture using the, my smack stick. Um, I 
Uh, I think I got this on camera too, the, the little uh, grassy areas that I put here on the side. Another one over here as well. But um, I'm happy, very happy with the kind of knobby, lumpy texture of the branches. I think they turned out really cool too. I, I love the detail of, of running the stick through it to create some texture, it breaks up the white but it's subtle and then these cloud dipped um, branches and leafy parts look at that i love the chaos but it's controlled and there's structure to it i need to figure out what that is but i love all these motions the motion it creates. I like that it's darker underneath and then more white on the outside edges. I think that turned out perfect. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Turn that around the other side. You can see the other, the last one. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. So cool. I love the way that that cloud um, pour mix um, puffs up. Look, look at this. See that? Isn't that cool? Oh my god. And how can you go wrong with blues and greens, huh? Look at that. And then also on an overall uh, view here, I love the subtle nature of that greenish blue blown into the uh, Prussian blue. I'm hoping it dries just like that uh, as like a highlight behind it. So there's some dynamic motion and color in the in the background. And the, the primary motion of it is going out from the center. Yes. Oh, Look at the way it kind of highlights behind the branches there. Oh, so nice. I'm so happy. I'll have to come up with a name for this piece, but I'm super happy. I hope you enjoyed it too. Stay tuned for the dry results. So here is the dry result of my cloud dip bonsai. It dried very dark, just like I was expecting. That Prussian blue is uh, always dries darker. Um, and I, I love the way this glows. It's just beautiful. And there's so much dynamics to it. I love these leafy areas. They, I think they really look alive. So it's so beautiful. I love the motion kind of like controlled chaos. So beautiful. I love that effect. And um, I did go in and add in a few more little branches just to um, add a few more details to the way the leaves connect to the trunk. And <clears throat> uh, I showed you that I, or I told you that I widened the base, but I also decided to add a bit more to the trunk here too. 
um, just so that it tapered as it got further out. Um, I really love that effect. The one thing that didn't work out was, I think you can see a little bit of a hint of it there in the negative space of the greenish blue. Um, it dried so dark that from a distance you can't really see it. Oh, focus back in again. You can't really see it, so that didn't quite work out. I'll use a, a lighter color next time. Um, but overall, I'm still super happy with this. I'm really excited to play with this some more. Um, I decided to call this the Ghost on the Hill because it has like a uh, a ghostly go a glow. I love that. And this part down here, the, the Dutch pour blowout area, is still just stunning. I'm going to have to play with that a bit more. I think it actually looks like um, waves, so I might do something kind of ocean-inspired with this. And I, I really love all the little grassy bits there, adding some... Uh, some detail to it. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to come see more and uh, come back and see me sometime.